Now I've gone on to read about this issue called saffification, which oh, is- Oh, it turned into soap. It did. And and the issue here is, and it exists in all forms of whiskey, it, when you cut the whiskey with water before bottling. So it never happens with cast strength whiskeys. Oh, interesting. But there is an issue where if you dilute with water quickly and then immediately bottle, the way the phenols break down and against the ionization of the water can end up making soapy compounds that will ruin the batch. Wow. Like as a whole. And so the, you know, some of the pieces I've read have said that if you're reducing from a, you know, you're coming out of the barrel at 55, 57%, you're going to go down to 43. It should take a month. Uh, of adding water slowly, slowly and letting it establish and really arguably outgassing, like releasing certain compounds yeah. before you put it in bottles. But if you're in a hurry, and this was his argument, this was an old edition of 21 bottled in the 1990s and they were in a rush and they immediately, they cut it hard, you know, a lot of water, bottled it and ruined the whole batch. <gasps> Did he know ahead of time that it was going to be saponified? No. Oh. No, no, they, and and again, he and he bought it long ago. But it's this, and it's one of these areas that the whiskey professionals don't want to talk about. They they've ruined whiskey because it doesn't happen immediately. It didn't taste soapy when they put it in the bottle. Right. 